Welcome back guys to a brand new video and today I'm gonna give you five tips to help you become a better sniper in forward assault. And these are some super secretive tips or just simple tips for intermediate and beginning players so they can get better at sniping. And I really hope these tips can help you. Now, if you're some super pro level player, these tips probably won't help you. But for those beginners, this video is definitely made for you. Now my first tip for sniping might be an extremely obvious one for some of you guys, but a lot of people don't know about this and this is called using claw. This involves using four fingers to aim and shoot and this will tremendously improve your aim across the board when you're using any gun and it pretty much works in any mobile FPS honestly. So first off, you want to go ahead and copy the HUD I have up on stream. It, this will definitely help out a lot. And you want to form two C's with your hand. Your left hand will form a regular C with your index finger and your thumb. And then your right hand will form a backwards index, a backwards C with your um, right index finger and your right thumb. So your left index finger is going to be covering your crouch button. Your um, left thumb is going to be covering your movement pad while your right index finger is going to be covering your shoot button and then your right thumb is going to be the, the finger you use to move around and you can also use your right index finger to um to shoot and reload and this will definitely help out a lot because when you're only using two thumbs you can't do things like move your gun and move your aim around while shooting at the same exact time and this makes it much easier to get flicks and quick scopes and i'm telling you this will improve your aim so much especially with any semi-automatic weapon this includes the deagle i mean anything this is definitely one of the best ways to improve your aim and i'm telling you this will make this what this what makes a huge skill gap between those pro players at the top of the um the leaderboard and those bottom players who are going like zero and seven i've been using claw for two years and i wish i started using it way before because i'm telling you the difference it makes is incredible now there is a long learning curve but once you master it you will not believe how amazing the benefits are Second tip for you guys is aim placement. This is very important for getting those nice, crispy um, quick scopes and flicks. Now, I'm not talking about staring down the, the doors on dust, just waiting for somebody to come into your crosshairs. I'm talking about having your aim adjusted in a position to where if, and if you know a player's gonna be around the corner, make sure your aim is already at an angle where if they come around the corner, they're gonna be kind of where your aim is and you can easily quick scope them and hit them. This is very important, especially when we're going around awkward situations. For example, let's say you're on the going up the stairs on dust. You want to make sure you have your aim looking up, not at the stairs, not too high, at a position where if somebody goes down those stairs, your aim will already be in the position to either hit the no scope or go for the quick scope. This makes it really nice so you can have the advantage when it comes to most gunfights, especially when you're going against assault rifles or other snipers. This is definitely really important. For my third tip, this doesn't specifically go for sniping, but it definitely benefits when it comes to sniping the most, and that is predicting where your players are going to be. Now, this might sound like a simple thing, but for example, let's say you know where your players are going to spawn around the corner. Make sure you're just waiting there with your aim and just constantly wait for players to come around that corner and hit them. If they stop coming, that means you probably are going to be going around the other direction and you want to go ahead and move to that spot. Or they might even switch spawns and might be coming behind you. This is very important when it comes to getting nice feeds and not dying at all. I'm telling you, you do not get how important predicting spawns are going to come from. It will help you out the most. This might be one of the most important tips along with using claw. Now for my fourth tip guys, this is for those people who only use the M98. There is another sniper in the game. I'm not talking about the crappy auto sniper. I'm talking about the M40. A lot of people hate this sniper because it doesn't get one shot um, body shots, but it is still a really amazing sniper to use. First of all, the regular M98 in the game costs over $4,000. It is really expensive and really hard to sell for, especially when you die. But the um, M40 only costs, I think, like $1,700, somewhere around there. It is much cheaper, good eco weapon, and you can get really nice long range kills really quickly. Now, you might think it might be hard to only go for headshots, but if you actually practice going for headshots only, it'll make you so much of a better player. And even just getting those two body shots to get kills, it is still extremely quick since the um. The fire rate is extremely quick, and plus, it actually is a lot easier to aim to. You can move it around a lot faster. And honestly, I have a lot of phone that sniper. Only two of my favorite snipers to use, and it is definitely a good advantage to have in the fuse if you know how to use a sniper like that for such a cheap price. For my last tip, guys, is to simply practice. You need to practice in a certain way. Do not just go into the fuse and just buy a sniper and start practicing. That's not what you want to do. You want to go into TDM and just try to get into many gunfights as possible. Not, not, do not go into gunfights that are easy for you. Do not hard scope. Try to go for quick scope. Try to get those flick shots. 
if you're bad at close range sniping, try to get in more closer situations so you can get more practice. So when it's time for the fuse, it makes you a much better player. Same going for long range. I'm telling you, the way you practice makes a huge difference. Do what's harder for you to do. Try using the M40 more. Try to go for those headshots. It makes you so much of a better player, even if you struggle with it now. Because honestly, I still struggle with it sometimes. But as long as I practice, I will continue to get better. And do not take breaks. Do not take breaks at all. Like, you do not want to go, like, a whole week without sniping. I'm telling you, you, your skills will just drop down. All the work you did, you will lose. You have to at least practice at least once or twice a week to make you a better sniper. But that's all the tips I have for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And also, just to let you guys know, I have started streaming. I stream, I streamed on, on Tuesday. You guys enjoyed it a lot. I will be streaming on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna probably going to be playing some PUBG, maybe even some more CEOPS. I'll leave my, dis my Discord in the description so you guys can play with me. But anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you really care, don't forget that subscribe button. Peace, guys. Yeah.